under the future climate, agriculture is going to have to adapt more quickly to changing conditions than ever in history. So I'm looking to help uh, potato farmers adapt to climate change impacts. They're going to face a harder time with varying weather uh, conditions, such as hotter temperatures, um, different precipitation patterns. So it's really difficult to make decisions on farming. What we hope to be part of the solution is um, drones and the information it can give us from the air. Drones got introduced to the lab in 2016, and since that time we've expanded to a number of other drone models and sensors. Uh, we've expanded our work from coastal erosion to precision agriculture as well. In PEI, precision agriculture is fairly new. Um, for right now, when you farm or you apply fertilizer, you may apply fertilizer across a whole field. But there might be some areas that are doing fine that don't need more fertilizer. So if you're able to precisely see what areas need certain inputs, whether that's water or fertilizer or other chemicals, then you can just apply to the areas that need it. So it's more effective, you're using less inputs, so it saves the money and it's also better for the environment. Drones are a big part of precision agriculture because up in the sky, it can collect a lot of data, but very precisely. You can look at per plant, how it's doing and what it needs. Uh, so we can look at things like plant health. We also have thermal sensors. We can look at uh, water stresses. We can look at heat loss, uh, all sorts of options. And we also have a LIDAR sensor now, so we can get all sorts of accurate topographical data for an area. And so by supporting the farmer so that they can make the right decisions at the right time, they'll be able to um, help ensure food security for our region and also globally.